Today we will be discussing partridge pea. Chemicrista fasciculata. Here is the native range for partridge pea in green. Partridge pea gets one to three feet tall. It's an annual plant. It gets yellow blooms that the bees absolutely love. It's not edible for humans, but it's great for wildlife. It likes full sun to part shade. It likes dry to moist soil. Its bloom time is June, July, August, September, and October, but where I live in East Tennessee, specifically in Knoxville, it's mostly June, July, and August. Partridge pea naturally grows in open woodlands, prairies, plains, meadows, pastures, and savannas. Here you can see along my main garden pathway, on the left I have partridge pea growing. I have it growing in mass and I have it growing in my prairie area. I also call it a meadow, but um, more on that later. And here you can see partridge pea is beautiful in mass. It's kind of a skinny plant, so it's really not the best kind of plant to just plant one and then just not plant anymore. You want to plant it in a mass or a drift, and you want to either do that or you want to plant it among a lot of other prairie plants. And you still want more than one partridge pea. If you only plant one partridge pea, it's not really going to do much for you visually. And it's also not going to do as much for the wildlife because it really needs to be at least, I don't know, five to ten plants. I think that if you do less than that, it's just not going to have the same effect. Partridge pea is a host plant for the orange sulfur, cloudless sulfur, and sleepy orange butterflies. Partridge pea looks beautiful in the wind. Just look at it. It just waves in the wind beautifully. It almost looks like it is greeting you as you walk past it. It is a beautiful self-sewing plant. It gets these very bright pops of yellow. Um, in the summer and it just looks wonderful with things like purple coneflower, gara, mountain mint, and other prairie-like plants. Partridge pea will grow best if you give it at least 10 days of cold moist stratification after you've done scarification. Scarification is simply the nicking or sanding to break the seed coat. Next time you go near a partridge pea plant when it's in full bloom, listen for the bees. The bees use buzz pollination on these plants and it's really fun to hear. It's such a cool little sound, you've got to try to hear it one day. So consider planting partridge pea next year. It's an annual, so you will either need to let it self sow or you'll need to sow it every year. But other than that, it's a great plant. I love it in my little prairie area. And I just think it is such an attractive plant. Even when it's in seed, the seeds are attractive. The seed pods, really cool. Again, not edible for humans, but edible for the wildlife. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! stickers, paintings, and collector boxes. Available now at macylou.com. Thanks for supporting the channel and the wildlife habitat we create. To support the channel, like the video, comment, and subscribe. You can also support my work by buying art from me at macylou.com. Thanks for watching!